Anthropology often helps find new questions. What is the link between, say, ISIS and neoliberalism? How societies and communities interact with space. How words are used to construct ideas. At SOAS, I can genuinely 100% say that in the last two years, I have learned more than I've ever learned in my entire life. Studying social anthropology has made me much more, not only aware of what's going on in the world, but it's helped me develop a much more critical mind to understand the politics behind everything that's going on. Anthropology helps you see the bigger picture. They really try and make you reconfigure the way you think about the world. What you have with an anthropology degree at SOAS is a rounded training which can be done as a single honours or it can be done jointly with one of a number of different subjects available or with a language as a four-year programme with one-year study abroad. The training you'll receive is very classic. We look at the philosophical background of many of the ideas that we have about society. Right up to contemporary thinking on society and culture. You'll learn really how to apply theory to life, but also that, that all theory comes from life and goes back into life. Every undergraduate has an opportunity to pull these strands together, theory, region, uh, thematic interests and their, their methods, into an independent study project. This also includes field work. It is generally doing the work that you would be doing afterwards as well, which is really interesting. So I'm doing my ISP on resistance theatre and how subjectivities are influenced by resisting through theatre. We're surrounded by possibly the world's greatest concentration of expertise in the regions of, of Africa and Asia. And that, of course, includes people with profound and deep knowledge of the languages and literatures and cultures and history, but also the legal systems, the art, the architecture, the music. We have a style of teaching which is very interactive. We also have our own Helen Kinitka library, which is a kind of social studies space. What I like is the way they engage with the world in ways that are not just theoretical, but also very much applied and very, very concrete and also very creative. I have been able to academically grasp what I've been practicing in the field. And there were a lot of moments in the course where it sort of clicked. This is how I could put it into an analytical framework. Um, this is how I can go about uh, writing about it better, talking about it better, and in effect, going out into the field and then practicing better as well. So that means that the world is literally open to you. I'm hoping to go into journalism. International development. Architecture or town planning. Education and integration. We do have a very powerful impact on what happens in international organisations and circles. There's an engagement of staff and students in the contemporary issues and problems and challenges. A striving and a struggle to be relevant to what's important. One of my biggest dilemmas studying here is that the fact that there are so many opportunities of things to do every single night. Collective things, there's samba, there is ways to express yourself, there's art society. Political issues to cultural things and just like talking, getting a dialogue going. I just love the whole student body, the idea of the student union. I feel like I'm part of a community. I genuinely think if you took the globe and tried to reduce it to a village, you'd have so asked.